Normally, I don't do videos on TVs or radios or stuff like that, but I do like to do myself some consumer information videos like parts if they work or do not work or if they're worth it or not worth it, pricing and that type of stuff. And to that point, I bring you the Upstar 4K monitor. So yeah, this is the Upstar 28 inch 4K LED monitor. And I just got this one here locally off Sears as you can see for the labeling. So that's a free commercial there for them. And it's a 16 by nine UHD 4K 2K. It has a DP, mm, HDMI, two ports, uh, picture in picture and another feature of picture in picture that I really didn't understand too well. I know it's uh, another picture in picture type of thing. Uh, it has eco mode and it has a whole lot of colors. I found online a few reviews on this monitor and it was pretty good. It had like a lot of good criticism and it had some bad as well regarding the black and the shininess of the screen and that type of stuff. But I really like to try things out for myself and I thought, okay, it has good positive feedback, which is something that I like to get in my equipment when I purchase it. I like to do research first, see if it's good or not. So it has, let's say four to five stars or something like that. And after that, I like to go with pricing compared to other equipment and monitor wise or TV wise or whatever. I always like to go with Samsung because to me personally, I like the way Samsung's look. So that is why I actually have my Samsung Plasma 65 inch and my main monitor for the computer there is also a Samsung, which has been very nice. It's been with me for many years. It's one of those predating HDMI monitors. It's 22, 24 inch monitor. It looks really good. It has VGA and DVI and I've been with this monitor for quite a while and I'm very happy with it, but it also consumes a little bit of energy because it was done a few years back and technology has gone forth a lot. And now this monitor uses like 150 watts and the new one that I just got uses 35 or 45. So that is more than half of what the power consumption on this monitor is. So that's why I got the other monitor because I wanted to use a little bit less energy. And now that I'm using solar power, I want to well get equipment that works better with the equipment that I have so that I don't consume a whole lot of energy. So on that point, I went ahead and got this Upstar monitor. It was $199. And the thing that I found funny on it when I looked at the box here is that you could see here that it's uh, Upstar USA and it says USA in more than one place. But when you look at it more closely, you can see is made in China, but sold only in USA. Oh, sweet, sweet irony. Anyways, most things right now are made in China, so I don't really care about that. It's just funny that I saw that on the box. So let's go ahead and get this thing open, see what's inside the box. I'm not a fan of silver or chrome, and it has silver and chrome. No, it only has silver on it. But let's see what comes out of this here. So here's the base. It's a, it's a glass base. That's cool. I don't like the chrome and it does have chrome. I was just saying it doesn't have chrome. Boom, chrome on your face. Okay. Here we go. That's heavy. Actually heavier than I thought, or at least was expecting. So there's base down here. Yeah, so here's the back side of it. It has three HDMI's on the bottom, as the box said. It has, well, that's cool. It has a headphone output. Normally, these monitors don't have that. And uh, this is pretty cool. You could get audio from the monitor itself, put a headphone jack here, and not have to use any other external device for that. Uh, it has a DC in, which is cool, because the power source is a little box instead of plugging it directly to the wall. And it's a wonder why it's so heavy if the power adapter is not included in the device. Anyways, it seems to be constructed mostly out of metal, which is pretty nice. And that would be why it's heavier. That construction is pretty neat. There's a whole bunch of cables in here. Okay, here's the power adapter. It gives you the screws for the mounting bracket if you want to use it. 
I believe. I'm gonna have to check on that. Maybe it's for the base. Oh no, excuse me. The screws are for the base here, actually. You get the HDMI cable, you get a DVI cable, and uh, this is the D plug cable, actually. This is not the HDMI cable here. Okay, so you have two HDMI ports and one display port. That's cool because video cards today now kind of have a display port for the extra monitor if you want to use it, but I don't have to use that. I do need these screws that are here. Pretty cool that it gives you all the wires and everything. Normally these monitors just give you one power cord, one wire, either uh, DVI, HDMI, or VGA, depending on the monitor you bought. And this one actually has a few different kind of wires there. I'm not expecting them to be any quality at all, but still nice that they're there. So the power adapter is 12 volts at four amps. And if I do a simple calculation with that, it has uh, 48 watts. So yeah, 48 watts is pretty good considering this monitor is 150 watts. Let me take it apart now that we're on this. Okay, this is the standard power cord for your monitor, if you have one of these type of monitors. Okay, so it says it's a 110 monitor, and it's a one amp monitor, so if you multiply the 110 by one, you get 110 watts, and that is the power consumption of this monitor. If we compare this to the Upstar monitor, well, it's half of it, because that one is 48, this one is approximately 100, and that is half the power consumption right there. I'm pretty sure there's a Samsung monitor at this moment that uses less power than this one but the thing is it's not going to cost the same as the upstar monitor so i'm going to try out the upstar see what happens with that let's set this aside here pretty weird to have a monitor that actually screws the base in normally you clip these things into it but considering it's made of glass that's uh that's i believe is why and it, it i don't know if this looks good or not to me it looks kind of cheesy little chrome parts this will most likely get damaged in a month or something like that and um, this is glass and this is glued to the glass you can see here that there's glue in there so this might just come off with time and break and the monitor could fall forward or something uh, I'm not really liking this base too much uh, hopefully I got plans to actually mount this to the wall instead of using this base this I don't know if this comes off or something it's there There we go, it moves back and forth a little bit. Okay, so to mount this on the wall, I would expect this to come off somehow. I just don't see it yet. I'll just have to look at the instructions when the time comes to do that, right? Okay, so let's try to get this bolted on. It'll be interesting to see how much power or how much torque I have to put into these little screws to get this to work correctly. Okay, so there's, this is gonna be very, the screws actually hold the glass in place. So, I have to be extremely careful how much I tighten this thing up. Definitely not the best solution for a base. Careful not to crack this crap. Definitely not something that I like. Better hurry up and get that base mounted to the wall. This should be enough for today. Let's 
There we go. That, not gonna tighten them anymore. I'm scared this thing is gonna crack and fuck everything up. So, base is in place, nice and tight. There's nothing else to actually put on the monitor here, so I think we can actually power this thing on and see if it works correctly or not. See how good this thing is, actually. So, let's get both hands here, because it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of heavy, this thing. Turn you around. And there we go. What, is that broken already? Yeah, it's damaged. I, I think it's damaged. It has a line here and it has a line here inside this glass. Not good, man. I just got this out of the box. Let's power it on and see what happens. Yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna have to take that back, actually. I can still see that, even if it's powered on. There's a thick line here. It's inside the glass. And there's another one here. And that is not something that you want in your brand new monitor. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Had to go back to the shop, and I told them about the lines on the monitor, and they actually exchanged it. I was lucky enough to get a hassle-free exchange. They didn't ask too many questions because it was obvious that the line was there from the manufacturer. It was not that it was damaged or anything. It was just something that was bad on the screen on the inside. So, yeah, I was able to get that, and I was also lucky enough that it wasn't special when I actually changed it. So when they refunded me the money and they got me another monitor to purchase it again, it was actually $89 cheaper, so the monitor cost me uh, $120 actually, plus tax here in Puerto Rico. So the deal is that I'm going to replace this Samsung here, just looking at it right now, because when I put the other one and hook it up, I'm going to compare this screen side by side with the other one. I don't want to do both at the same time, I don't really think it's appropriate to do that now. I just want to do like a first impressions, unboxing, testing, see how good it is or not, but I don't really think I have to compare it to the Samsung. The Samsung is pretty old, and actually, you know, it's a pretty good monitor. I don't want to, I'm pretty sure this, for me, is going to be better. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to have to use the Upstar a little bit, see how well that goes. So, now that I have the new monitor, replacement monitor, let's go ahead and open it up, put it together, and get it installed here. So, let me turn this one off. Get all the connections removed here. There's one more cable there. There we go. Cables are off. Okay, so. Okay, so these are the ones that I'm eliminating. The Samsung, the two Lenovo monitors. And they're all going to be replaced with this single monitor. Because I noticed that even though I had three monitors, I wasn't using them. So I just thought having a big one would be a better solution than having three monitors and that would actually help me with the solar power thing that I have going on which is trying to save more energy to have the batteries last a little bit longer. So to that matter, as I've mentioned before, this monitor uses half the power of the Samsung over there that I'm retiring or replacing. So let's go ahead and get this one set up. All right, so I previously opened this one in the store because I didn't want to have to go back. And since it was a manufacturer issue, I wanted to make sure the screen was okay before I actually brought it home. So we opened it in the store, had a look at it. And there we go, lo and behold, there is no lines on the screen. The screen is actually in perfect condition and hopefully it doesn't have dead pixels or anything. Cause I don't wanna go back and return this one as well. Here's all the little parts, stand, well, let's get the stand installed. Let's turn it over. Here we go. Let's be very careful with this one. So all the plugs, cables, everything is in here. That's pretty cool. 
talked about that in the previous bit, so I'm not going to go over any of that. I'm just going to go ahead and try and get this put together here. Need the little screws from in here. And I just noticed the camera was angled somewhere else. So part of this video would just have been looking at the wall. Hopefully, since I'm using super wide on the GoPro, that will not be the case. But if it is, well, whatever. I'll just leave it like that. I'm not going to record all that again. Let's just go into getting this thing set up. Oh fuck, it has a dead pixel. <sighs> fuck, this is just turning out to be stupid. Turn it on, the first thing you see is a dead pixel. That's just great. Nope, I have to take it back anyways, because that's not going to let me live. Seems like we'll have to cut a video again. <laughs> Okay, so this is the third and final try for me on this monitor. I got the first monitor, had some lines on the screen, turned that one back, went to the store. They actually gave me a no hassle change. That was good. Um, I opened the box and looked at the monitor. I committed the error of not trying it out. The screen did not have any lines, so I brought it home. And when I got here, I was actually doing the video, and you can see that I say, I hope it doesn't have a dead pixel, and boom. A green dead pixel on the screen on the right side and I can't live with that I can't just buy something new and have it not work correctly so I have to say at this point of the video if you haven't noticed it yet if you're the type of person that that does mind having to return stuff or going through the hassle of going back to stores or sending things back this just may not be the monitor for you because this thing has given me a little bit of issue and I've had as I said, this is the third monitor that they give me, and I had them open this thing up in the store, plug it into the wall, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, just to make sure that everything looked correctly. And now I'm home here, I'm going to open it up, connect it, and even then I'm going to try it out a little bit because I'm just a little bit skeptic on this thing. I'm only doing this because it was a very good deal. It was uh, originally costed $370. They had it on special for $299. And then they lowered the price for this week to 119 And, you know, the first time I bought it, it was good because it had $70 less. And I thought it was good to monitor because it had like four stars online. The second time I, when I went back, they gave me the 119 deal. And now I know why they put it on 119 I believe they're having a lot of issue with these monitors. And they offered me a warranty, but I just thought that 119 and a $40 warranty it just isn't worth it if it works out correctly i'll keep it for as long as it lasts if it dies out on me at some point i'll change it for a samsung or an lg i won't go with upstar ever again if this doesn't work out so as i said if you're looking for a monitor and you want something that's good and you don't get this at a good price maybe you want to look at something else if it actually is at a good price as i said i'm purchasing this at 119 the special offer that they have for this week plus the tax and whatnot that's a good deal for a 4k monitor a hundred and something dollars great you could go through the hassle at least that's what i thought and that's why i have gone three times to the store but it may not be the case for you it depends on how you actually like to buy your stuff maybe a little bit better to go up maybe 200 300 or 400 for a better monitor a samsung lg or other brand then go with this so let's go ahead into this put this one together put it on the table see if it actually works out or not give it a few test runs maybe a few videos or something another thing that i would say on the monitor is if you're gonna buy it be sure to buy it somewhere that you have a warranty that you are sure you could take it back or send it back and won't have any type of issues when doing that because depending on where you buy it you could have a real bad experience with this thing and if you're going to purchase it online just make sure that you buy it somewhere that you can return it because it may just be the case that you need to send it back so needless to say i'm not really that happy with this monitor right now but as i said it was a good deal 
it actually has a decent picture quality and I like the connections that it has and all that so let's go ahead and get this set up here I already have this memorized since I've done it a few times already okay so let's get you out the box as I said I already looked at the screen doesn't have any marks on it powered it on there were no dots on it that it were visible and if it has a dead pixel and it's black I don't really care at this point as long as it's not a green red or blue or yellow or whatever I'm fine with that so let's just go ahead and try it out at this point I'm really looking into not recommending this monitor unless as I said you get it at a real cheap price like I did it's not been a very good experience with this thing actually look into the Samsung monitors that are kind of the same type of deal as a 4k UHD thing they were really expensive they were like $370 here plus the tax and whatnot and you know that's a little bit over my budget right now for a monitor this is just perfect for my budget on a monitor the only reason that I changed it is because as I said the power consumption on the one that I previously had is double this one and I'm using solar power and I want to save as much energy as possible so this helps me with that as well let's get this thing tightened up okay so screws are tight yeah one two and three that's it okay so finally screen looks okay there's nothing in the screen that's damaged no dead pixels or anything and if I want to check further what I have to do is change the background to completely black solid colors black save changes get that out of the way here we go nothing there let's try red there's no red here really pink okay so no dead pixels on that let's try white okay now if we could get a blue in here okay I think that's good enough for me it seems to be working okay so finally third time I got this and the monitor seems to be working I'm definitely gonna have to make another video down the road of how this been working out because I can't really trust this thing right now <laughs> as it is as I said I bought it because it only cost me $120 plus tax and if I would have had the money to go with something better than this I would definitely would have gone with something else that doesn't have the silver all around it actually because I like black better but at the moment this one seems to be working correctly it looks great resolution is good the quality of it is great I did see a few movies and videos and games on the other one that had the dead pixel and everything looked great so I can say that the quality itself is very good on the screen, on the colors, the blacks and everything seems to be pretty much above average and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for something cheap but there is a note of caution and it is the fact that look at what happened to me this is the third monitor that they gave me and this is the one that's finally working great if you buy it on Amazon I would imagine that you have to return it get another one that's damaged turn it get another one that's damaged and at some point you'll just get tired of it and forget about it so with that word of caution the monitor does look good if you do get it cheap you may want to look into it but other than that you may want to look elsewhere I will definitely do a follow-up video later on down the road but for now that is it for this unboxing first impressions and a lot of surprises on the way right thank you for watching until the next video